I don't know how he gets away with it. And now we have great pleasure in returning you to the Goon Show. This is where the story really starts. Now showing at your local radio, disguised as the was who never man. Part the ping. Thank you. <laughs> Major Bloodnut, sir. What is it, Gladys? Someone's coming up the stairs, sir. What? Quick, burn this on the fire. What? What is it? A piece of coal. What? <laughs> Major Bloodnut? You can't be. You look too rich. Good heaven, what's that you've got in your hand? Microfilm, sir. What? Found in some German boots washed ashore at Southend on the Sea at Brighton. Boots? So that explains why that German spy was barefooted. This is an important find. Pull up a chair and sit down. I'd rather stand. Very well, stand on a chair. Thank you. I shall just put this microfilm under this powerful magnifying glass. It'll keep it flat while I put my glasses on, you see. Now, there. <gasps> Some kind of secret plan. I know. We shall have it photographed. Keep one copy and send the other back to Germany. Might be a reward. You'll never know. What? What? Send them back to the enemy? Ah, but with a difference. I'm going to post them without any stamps on. Gerd Major, you strike a cruel blow at German philately. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Supposing these are the invasion of England plans? Don't worry, lad. If the Germans ever invade England, we war office chiefs have Plan X ready. Plan X? What's that? First plane to Dublin, then submarine to South America. <laughs> Major, you're not going to run away from the enemy. Well, there's no point in running away from anyone else, is there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Be it on your own head, as you wish, Major, but we all know what happened to Colonel Benteen. Ah. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he sat right where you're sitting now, in that very spot. <laughs> he was frightened of the enemy. <laughs> he had a thousand pounds of gold in his kit bag, booked a fast plane to Dublin, <laughs> and he had a submarine laid on to take him to South America. <laughs> Poor fool. He thought he got away with it. <laughs> you know what happened to him? What? He got away with it! <laughs> oh, dear! <laughs> All through the night, and this is where the story really starts, Seagun and Bloodnock poured over the plan. Sometimes they poured on the floor, sometimes they poured in the glass, but mostly they poured over the plans. Yes, gentlemen, <coughs> I have uh, uh, every reason to believe that these gin soaked plans of a secret German weapon are really the brandy soaked plans of a secret German weapon. Good. Is there no end to the fiendish ingenuity? No, I fear not. <laughs> Dear listeners, Bloodnock, realizing the significance of the discovery, leapt to his feet and shouted for a messenger with a voice like thunder. Send in a messenger with a voice like thunder. <laughs> right, mate. Take the microfilm at once to the Woolwich Arsenal and get the experts there to build this secret German weapon. I'll do my best, gentlemen. But we can't afford failures. Despite an insult, I left the building with my head held high and my feet held higher. In that position, we threw him out. <laughs> Here is a recording of it. <laughs> you filthy swine. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it wasn't easy. Soon I was at the gates of Woolwich Arsenal when I was challenged by a sentry. <laughs> oh, who goes there? <laughs> Friend! Oh, thank God for that, mate. <laughs> Advance and be shot at, mate. I was, mate. Yeah, I recognize you. Do you? You're the bloke I was shooting at just now. <laughs> what makes you so sure? All them little holes in your nut. <laughs> Silly man, they're old bullet holes. I know, I was using old bullets. <laughs> Fool of fools, you want to kill me? Oh, no. matey. Yes, darling, matey. <laughs> With your officer in charge. Uh, Ray Ellington and his quartet, mate. Gad, four for the...